Hey guys, I'm Eddie, and in this particular video, I'm going to tell you how I passed my critical care medicine boards. But my first, first, first complaint is towards the ABIM on how long they took to actually score this exam. I took this exam on October 16th, 2017, and I did not get my test back, my scores back, until December 19th. It took two months and a couple days to go ahead and score my test. That's mind-blowing to me, especially for a test that we paid over $2,000 to take. I mean, two months, really, is that necessary? It's a, it's, it's a multiple choice test. It's not like we're in front of a panel asking, answering questions. It's mind-blowing. ABIM, please help us out. Like, it's, it's just nerve-wracking. We don't, we don't like that. Fortunately, though, everybody who I know passed the exam, which is great. <sighs> huge, huge sigh of relief, because honestly, it was a difficult exam. There was a lot of, a lot of challenging questions in there, so <laughs> if you have to study for the exam, I, I don't know the optimal way of doing it, but this particular video is how I did it and how I passed the exam. The two main things I used to study for the exam were first, chest seek, and the second thing was the SCCM board review videos that you could purchase. Now, neither of these two things is particularly cheap, but you need to you need to make sure, at least for the sake of your own consciousness, you need to spend a little bit of money on some board review stuff instead of just winging the exam because, you know, if you don't do well, then you're just going to bite yourself in the butt. Bite yourself in the butt? Uh, you're going to get upset with yourself for not having purchased that and not studying the way you should have for this exam. I went ahead and purchased Chest Seek on the iPad. So I basically downloaded the app and then I bought the questions. Now, the way that I went ahead about doing this is a little bit different as to what's available right now. Unfortunately, the Chest Seek app that I had, as I mentioned, is not available. But when it was available, what I did was that the, the question bank, which was basically edition uh, 18, 20, and 22, as well as edition 24, all these questions to buy the whole entire set was $300 through iTunes. So what I did is that I went to Costco or whatever place you want to go to, but I went to Costco where the $100 gift cards were on sale for $85, so I bought three of those cards, which is $300 bucks for, you know, math on the spot, $260, I can't do math. Um, and then I went ahead and bought the, bought the questions. And of those questions, I, I'm not going to lie, I didn't get through all the questions because there were a lot of questions and a lot of things that were just, just seemed so esoteric from, from, the, from the chess questions that uh, it, was, it was really hard, but I did learn a lot from it. And I do think it's very, very beneficial and very useful. But how do you do it now to get these same exact questions? If you like books, if you like physical books, you can buy the 26th edition of the Chess Seek, and that's $300, and you can buy that through the Chess website, but if you're a member, it's $200. If you're trying to buy every single edition, just keep in mind that they skip editions. Uh, they basically make one edition for pulmonary and one edition for critical care, so the critical care editions are 18, 20, 22, 24, and 26. Don't be looking for 25, because you're going to kill yourself looking for that, and you're not going to find it. Now, if you like the app, like I do, I like to do things on my iPad, I like to lug around books. You pay $300 for this question bank if you're a member, $349 if you're a non-member, and you have access to all these questions for a year. Now, I think that this is honestly the best, the best value right now, and I'm unsure of whether it's an in-app purchase where you can either buy it through Google Play or, or Amazon Marketplace or whatever, or if you could you know, do like I did and buy the iTunes cards and just buy it like that. But... Either way, a year should be enough time with these with these particular questions. Now this app, as I mentioned, is available through Google Play, the Apple Store, or you could also get it through the desktop. Now the other thing I did was pay for the videos through SCCM to basically it's like a live live review. And if you're a member of SCCM like I am, it's $760. If you're a non-member, it's $975. Now considering the price of actual SCCM membership, it's worthwhile to become a member if you're not. And same thing with chess, it's worthwhile to become a member just so you have access to these, to these uh, titles, these books, these videos at a cheaper rate. Cheaper. Almost $800 is not cheap, but it is what it is. One of the cool things about actually being able to get these videos is that you put them on, on some sort of uh, video player, like VLC is what I use, and I watched them at 1.5x, so, you know, a 40-minute video got turned into about a 25-minute video, which is way better for my very, very short attention span. 
Now, some people say, oh, did you read any books? Um, I'm not, I didn't. That's me being completely honest. I just did the questions, and I did the questions a number of times, well, the ones that I did actually complete. And I also watched the videos once. Some of the videos I watched them twice just to make sure that I got the, the key points in them. Now, with regards to test taking skills, I did find a lot of the images to be similar from what I saw in these review videos and these, these books to actual things that were on the examination. So those of you who are familiar with UWorld that they have questions that are almost verbatim to what shows up on the exam, this kind of does uh, present itself during the, <laughs> during, during the actual exam things that, you're, that you see in these texts and in these videos. Now, how much time did I put into studying for, for the boards? Well, considering the fact that um, I just finished my fellowship and I was kind of burnt out from doing all that and then starting my attending job and trying to, you know, figure it out as, as the saying goes, I didn't spend as much time studying for my boards as I did, say, the internal medicine boards, but, you know, I still did it well. Now, there's some things that you can get for free online. For example, www.icupros.org. This is a good website where they give you these, these mock questions, but I, that format just didn't work for me. If it works for you, go check it out. That's why I'm telling you about it. I'll put, it, I'll put the link in the description box below. It's a good site for mental gymnastics because they got a lot of cool esoteric stuff there and stuff that's actually pretty practical. It's a good site. I like those, the people who, who built it. They, they did a good job, honestly. I can't comment on any live board review courses. I did not pay to go to a location to get that. So if that, but that, if that's what actually gets you locked in and gets you in the zone to actually study, then go ahead and, and pay the big bucks for that. I didn't have the big bucks. All in all, I passed my exam. Hopefully, if you're watching this video and you're kind of scratching your head and seeing, you know, wondering what it takes to study for the boards, just do your thing. You've made it this far in life, and and you have so much more to accomplish. Remember, this is just a test. 95% of people pass the exam, at least per the statistics I found, and I, I'm part of the 95%. Woo! Um, good luck, and remember, it's just a test. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.